When I think of home, I think of It's that safety, that love that You are accepted for who you are Really comes to mind as family Mis niños, necessarily a physical place But just a feeling of belonging Lo que quiero que mis hijos tengan este una residencia para poder vivir en paz, para terminar todo con con este migración, ya no quiero o sea que quiero vivir una vida recta, pues este ya no pensar de la corte o ya no pensar de más cosas porque es difícil manece un día pensando de migración que va a pasar con nosotros y Eso es lo que yo ya quiero eliminar en la, en la vida. My personal goal for right now, right, is to uh, obtain my MBA and then pursue for my PhD in economic sociology. But I will continue to serve my community. What effect did your detention have on your loved ones? Yeah, stressful in the, sen in the sense like all this shit, they wait for me to come home. They thought I was never going to go come home. You were double punishing immigrants were sending immigrants to detention for the fact of their immigration status. Nothing else. The Orange County Sheriff's Department is still allowed to transfer immigrants in county jail to ICE. And Orange County has the highest transfers of immigrants and refugees to ICE than any other county in the state. I had representation. But my experience at Atlanta, the majority of the, the majority of the detainees there do not have representation. Or gotta have uh, their family to struggle to look for money to look for representation. Immigrants who are facing detention don't have a right to an attorney. Uh -huh. Y ella es lo que me empezó a ayudar, a um, decirme más cosas, lo que yo no, no sé, lo que no me explicaron, pues, el, el parte del, de migración. No me dijeron. I came here when I was almost two in my mom's arms, and uh, I'm a refugee myself. I wanted to take it on and try to help as best as I could. I think part of the problem is that there are these little like death traps along the way that make it an extremely difficult uh, system to navigate. Vivir en la cárcel no es fácil, allá no hay, no hay comida, no bañamos bien, no nos tratan bien, nos tratan como que no somos personas. Can't afford to mess up. Because then the system is there to remind you, oh well, you mess up. You don't have a second chance. We therefore had to move forward with uh, advocating for her release on bond. But several community members came forward to write letters of support, many from teachers of her children, and attesting to how great of a mother she was and supportive and very involved in the lives of her children. She is one of the most resilient people I've ever met in my life, and I look up to her. Pidieron tres mil dólares de fianza y yo no tengo ese dinero porque no tenía derecho de trabajar en este país. Fue la abogada Tsai. Me dijo que hay una organización que te puede ayudar. OCGF help us um, post the bail. Like that was just, you know, there was no way her family could have raised that and that was what they were able to do. Y ese es lo que, lo que se necesita. Bonds are essentially, it's like a ransom by the government. You know, you pay me money and I'll say your uh, family member go free. 
In the immigration system, whatever amount of bond is set by a judge, that's the amount of money that needs to be posted. The full $5,000, $10,000, $15,000. That's not the kind of money that most people have. Hearing when she was released, it was big sigh of relief. I was very happy for her to be reunited with her children um, and her spouse. And I was just very happy, but I knew that the fight wasn't over. There's a lot of work that we still have ahead of us to ensure that or immigrant and refugee communities have a place of belonging. The Orange County Justice Fund was established out of the need to free immigrants and refugees from detention and be reunited uh, in, you know, with their families, with their communities. And secondly, to ensure that we continue to expand access to legal representation for families that are already struggling. Orange County Justice Fund has done that just that alongside families and community groups. We're freeing people literally out of detention. about the immigration to be more tolerant, to be more inclusive. And see us, you know, and, and see the similarity between us and tap into your, your compassionate, your humanity, 